Hi guys, it's Serena from Pretty Well Things and today I'm going to be filming my birthday haul and a collective haul of things I've bought before and after my birthday, during my birthday, around my birthday, you get the picture. So, um, today's a fresh start, I did film this twice yesterday and while editing it was just absolute crap, the lighting was awful. Um, and I just wasn't happy with it whatsoever so I decided to sit in a lighter place and try and film it slightly differently because it was taking me a long time to film because I have so many things to show you so I'm trying to do things slightly differently today so let me know if you like this kind of style of haul it's going to be kind of the same but with me um, kind of doing some more close-up of items and um, not talking for as long about each one and just trying to be snappy about it so let's start first of all my new handbag this is my absolute love um if you want to see um or read a little bit more about this uh, then i've done a blog post on it yesterday and i'll leave the link below i got this from a web shop called always be beautiful and i talk about how it took me absolutely ages to find this bag and it literally was like <sighs> really hard to find this bag but um it has skulls and skull studs and just it's I love this so much and yes similarly to is that the right word to that bag is this little envelope clutch and I got this from OA Sap um, and I'll leave a link to the store below and it's basically the same kind of skull faces with studs along and then um, it opens here, it's got a zip pocket inside, quite a lot of room, it's got a zip pocket on the back and a strap so you can either wear it as a, you know, over the shoulder or as kind of a clutch, so this would be great for going on nights out if I decide I'm ever going to do that, so uh, yeah, I really love this bag and I think this was about £12, I can't remember because I got this absolutely ages ago but I forgot to show it to you. These are my new boots and if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Facebook, any of those type of things. You'll have seen me basically go on about these for ages. I tried these on in Matalan um, doo -doo -doo -doo, a week before my birthday and my dad went back and got them for me and they are just gorgeous. You probably know I've seen me wear my other boots that are quite similar to this but with just um, studs here which I call my Dalek boots a lot. Like I've worn them to well they're not even dead yet, I got them last August and these are like kind of the brand new version of them. They're from Matalan and these were £45 and they have buckles and fake suede and gems and studs and just, I love these so much. I picked up three Dainty Doll items from TK Maxx probably about four weeks ago. I got a blusher in My Girl. An eyeshadow base in the colour Frankie Girl. And a lipstick in the colour Saucy Sailor. And these three were in a packet together for £7.99. These are my new favourite pair of leggings and um, if you read my blog you'll know that I wanted the Topshop uh, dog, dog tooth printed um, kind of like treggins or leggings or whatever they're called, jeggings, um, which were £28 and I tried them on in um, the shop and I loved them and then by the time I could afford them or sent the link to my mum so that, you know, I could get them for my birthday. They were sold out absolutely everywhere. We phoned all the stores. Nowhere had them anymore. They'd gone offline. So I was really gutted. But when I went shopping on my birthday, I found these in H&M. And they're not like a thick material. They are basically leggings, but with this flock pattern down the front. It's got two zips and they are high-waisted. And I did try, I was wearing them yesterday when I filmed, so I'll try and insert a little bit here of me wearing them so you can see how high-waisted they are. But they have the most amazing pattern on. This um, panelling down the front of each leg is velvet and, oh my God, like, 
Is it sad to stroke your own legs? Yes, yes it is. But look at this. It has skulls on and it's velvet and they're high waisted and they're so comfortable and the best part is that these were 12 99 which is an amazing price considering like the Topshop ones are 28 pounds and um H&M divided section is like so amazing at the moment crosses schools galore just amazing and I think I'm gonna buy another pair of these um just as a backup for when these die because I will be wearing these for a long time because I love them that much and um, usually in H&M like the bottom department the bottom department like trousers and leggings and jeans don't fit me from there um, I got these in a 12 which is my normal size and they fit perfectly so I think it's just the jeans that I have problems with but I love these and they're just amazing so I went to Primark the day before yesterday or even yesterday I can't remember now I think it was the day before yesterday with my sister and I picked up this skater skirt it's denim and it was 10 pounds and I got it in a size 12 but it's actually a little bit too big for me but I can't take it back because I already took the tags off so I'm just gonna have to like kind of pin it or something it's just because like you wear this around your waist it's just too big I also got this top from Primark which has dork on it and it's like burgundy colour with rolled up sleeves and it's just, yeah it says dork and they have a thousand of different types in there at the moment. This was £4 which is awesome. I have um, one that says geek on it which you may have seen me wear and I got that from like a high street store and that was £5 and I don't really like the fabric. It's very, it's not cotton like this is a normal t-shirt fabric and that one is kind of like this weird almost slimy cottony, I don't know how to describe the fabric but this one I just love this and I like that it says dork on it so yeah my sister also got one in green and then I'm wearing the other thing that I have to show you, which is a black skater skirt. And I got this from New Look, and it was $9.99. And I'll show you that now. It just looks like this. It's just basically a skater skirt. And I'm really, really loving skater skirts, as you can probably tell because I've bought so many. But um, it just really, like, kind of cinches in your waist, and then it flatters, kind of, like... It just really flatters my body type, body shape, whatever, and um, it's a really nice length, and it's really, yeah, I just really, really love these. Carrying on with skater skirts, I did buy another one, and um, this is an American Apparel skater skirt, which I bought for $14.99 from TK Maxx, and the original price is £48. It's current season, they're still selling it in American Apparel, so... Um, I got this about a week ago, so definitely check out your TK Maxx and see if they're still selling these because it just amazes me that I managed to buy something from American Apparel. So I'll show you the tag. Just there, American Apparel, and it's got the little Made in USA. And um, it just has a zip here and then like a button. And it's a really, really nice, it's kind of silky and I'm going to be wearing this a lot in the summer because it's so like lightweight and everything and awesome. So for my birthday my dad got me this dress and this is from Matalan. I think he got it at the same time as the boots because we looked at them both in um, Matalan. And it's grey mottled on the top like that and then the bottom has this black sheer layered long it's kind of it's a dress and the bottom is sheer um and then it has an underskirt underneath i'm not sure if you can see that it's sheer there but it is and then it has like a skirt underneath as well so you're not showing your knickers to everyone and um yeah i wore this on my birthday we went to tgi fridays and um it's really really nice next is this awesome t-shirt from don't feed the bears don't feed the bears and how awesome is this it's a bear with a unicorn horn and um a heart and a teardrop or a music note <sighs> freaking awesome hand drawn um i'll leave the shot below and i'm going to be doing a kind of how i style graphic tees um blog post soon so i'll link that below when it's up but it probably won't be up for a, about a week or maybe i'll do a video version of it anyway this is really, really cool, and I'll leave the shot below. I've got two bows from Claire's at different times, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, a mint one with studs. 
and a pink one with studs. I picked up the 17 nail varnish in holographic because I've been looking for holographic nail varnish for literally four years and I really wanted the gosh one then it got discontinued and then they brought it back and by the time I found out they brought it back it's gone again so um when I saw this um 17 one I was just jumping up and down in boots 3.99 and sadly I'm really disappointed with it it looks so holographic in the like bottle I don't know if you can tell that it's holographic it's really really cool in the bottle on my nails it was pretty sh um it just looked silver no matter what light i tried it in it didn't really do anything i tried two coats three coats just really unhappy with it but um i might give it another go try it with i'd had a top coat underneath it a top coat a base coat underneath it so maybe i'll try it without a base coat maybe that changes i don't know but uh, i'll give it another go and but i'm pretty unhappy with this then I picked up two sleek lipsticks from the pound shop, which is awesome. I got one in organza. And I got this true colour one in the colour majestic. And um, I also own one which is called Vamp, which is a matte dark red, which I love. Um, so I was really happy when I saw these in the pound drop because these are like $7.99 in Superdrug. And my first ever MAC product, I bought a MAC um, Pro Longwear Lip Cream from Cheshire Oaks. And this was £11.50, I believe. And I got it in the colour Love Forever. And um, I was debating whether to buy this or not because I don't own anything from MAC or besides this now. And I was like, mm, even though it was down to £11.50, I still didn't want to spend £11.50 on a lipstick. And my mum was like, just get it, just treat yourself. You know you want something from MAC and if you don't buy it, you're going to get home and say, I wish I bought it. So I'm really glad I bought this. I can't say that I... Uh, love it any more than any of my other lipsticks but I am glad that I own something from MAC even though that's really sad and usually I don't really care what name is on the item. My sister got me some Thor headphones for my um, iPhone or anything you want to use it for um, and these are the official Marvel Thor character headphones. I don't know where these were from, I'm really sorry if I can find a link to anything similar or the exact ones, I will leave it below. This is really cool and we went to Cheshire Oaks probably about four weeks ago now, maybe more, maybe less, I can't remember. And we went into the warehouse outlet and I saw this jacket and I pointed it to my mum and I was like, that is my two favourite things combined, camo and leather sleeves. And I looked at the price and it was £45, which to me is expensive. Um, anyway, but it was originally £65 and then my sister got a student discount on it so she got it down for, to £40 and um, I didn't really, she, I was going to buy it but then one was like well I can get it for your birthday and then you'll have to wait and you know you can have it on your birthday um, and I checked the warehouse website and it's still on the warehouse website at full price so I'm not sure why it was in the outlet store but I'm really happy it was and it is this jacket it's camouflage and then it has leather sleeves or pleather sleeves and um, it's so awesome. It has a drawstring. Oh, it's really hard to show jackets. I'm really bad at showing clothing that I'm not wearing. It has, oh no, that is, I'm just going to put it on. It's like a lightweight jacket and it has a straw. A drawstring in the middle and pockets and it's really really easy to move in like the sleeves aren't tight or anything and um, yeah I just really love it I got it in a 14 so that I could wear it over the top of things um, because I get cold really easily even in summer because England is never warm in summer anyway um, and I just really really like this and and much else I can say. I'll leave a link to the actual one in store below so you can see it on a model and stuff rather than me just trying to hold it up and failing at life. 
yesterday my sister got a delivery and um, she bought me this t-shirt and uh, if you follow me on Instagram you'll have already seen it and it says I must ask you a question and you know my obsession with moustaches so this is perfect for me and it's by the brand Goody Two Sleeves and this is an extra large apparently but looking at it it looks like a medium like I would buy normally like this does not look like an extra large to me like it's just normal size and I'm probably gonna wear this tucked into my skater skirt tomorrow and it's awesome so next I have a pair of Toms and I got these from my mom for my birthday and I was not expecting to get these um, I've been looking at this particular pair of Toms for literally over two years I think because they were exclusive to office apparently and um, I just love the whole thing about Toms that they give a pair to a child in Africa or wherever I think it, I think it is Africa but it could be everywhere in the world where people need shoes anyway I just love that they give a pair of shoes to a child that needs shoes whenever you buy a pair and I think all shoe brands should do that um, and these were on, I noticed they were on sale on office down to £20 and I sent a link to my mum and I was just like look at these, they're 20 quid. Um, not expecting her to get them at all um, and she bought them for me and it's the um, floral toms and I've never had any toms before and I just think they are perfect. They've still got the thing in because I've only worn them out once so I put it back in. Um, and these are the size 6. They're a little bit long at the end but I think that's fine and can't wait to start wearing these because they're freaking awesome some jewelry items i got a pair of earrings and these are massive cross earrings which kind of dangle sideways and i wore these on my birthday um and i think these were two pounds from primark and it took my mum ages to fasten them because i couldn't get the little thing in and then i looked in the mirror and there's a picture, my dad took a picture of me exactly as I was looking at them in the mirror and I'll insert it here. And that is like a face of pure disgust. Um, I was like, oh my god, I look like a chav. Um, but I kept them in anyway because my mum had just taken ages putting them in. So they have kind of, I don't like them that much anymore. They seem to get bigger when I got them home than they were in the shop. Um, and they are actually really heavy as well. So I don't know how often I'll be wearing these, but uh, they, I got those. I also got this necklace, which has now all tangled up, and I really can't be bothered to try and undo it. Um, but it's basically two strands with crosses on, and I'll show you the general gist of it. It's just like two strands with crosses on, and then this big mess at the bottom. Um, yes, it's a tangly mess. Last bit from Primark are these collar tips which are £1.50 and um, I've been looking at these online for a while and they just kind of screw on the back of your collar um, and they're just really cool, they're silver with um, turquoise stone in the middle, £1.50 is a real bargain for these. Not sure if I have showed you this already so forgive me if I have but I've been wearing this a lot um, in February and I just wanted to show you again or for the first time and it's this necklace which is made from a spoon with a star and a moon on it and this is from Leanne who um, really kindly messaged me on Instagram and said that she'd like to send me some of her jewellery and um, she runs a jewellery shop with her dad and it's called Dad and Daughter Designs and they take spoons and forks and things and they make them into jewellery which is just really cool and um, she sent me this necklace and a couple of rings, but I've been wearing this necklace a lot um, because, and you may not know, I'm obsessed with the moon, so this is perfect for me. And it's like the perfect length, it hangs kind of down here as well, so um, I kind of feel a little bit choked if a necklace is too high. I love this. I'll leave a link to her shop below. We're on to the last few things now, and I picked up some of the kind of Topshop-esque roughly socks from Primark because I went to the one in Manchester because the one in Stockport doesn't seem to have these in yet so I got this white pair with the ruffles and this grey pair with kind of cream ruffles. Now moving on to the last remaining items and I bought these from Primark on my birthday 
and they are, uh, I was going to say Hello Kitty then, that's wrong, Minnie Mouse uh, slippers and they got Minnie Mouse on and they're fluffy inside and I wanted these around Christmas but my local store ran out so got these from Manchester and then when I got home and my dad came round um, to give me my presents and we were going out for tea, I opened this present from him and I was not expecting this whatsoever because I sent this to my mum like before Christmas just as like a, oh my god look at this and I unwrapped it and I was like holy moly and I just put it on over my clothes if you follow me on any of my social networking sites you'll have seen me in this probably multiple times and I must say I wore this when all my friends came around uh, because I'm really cool and it is this onesie and it's not um, actually like a Disney one it's not supposed to be Minnie Mouse but it's like it's pretty much Minnie Mouse it's got the mouse ears and a big squishy bow on which is awesome um, that's the hood and then the rest of it's just red with spots on and it has four pockets which I think is pretty cool and then they just cuff at the bottom which I really like I don't like ones with feet in because um, I'm too long for those so it's like gets really tight <laughs> so I've been wearing this a lot sharp pretty little thing which goes perfectly with my YouTube name ish kind of the same um, and I'll leave a link to this below because um, yeah it's still in stock and I love it and I think that is everything that I had to show you because obviously I filmed it twice yesterday and then I put everything back away again and then I got everything back out today and I'm pretty sure I've shown you everything and um, the only other stuff that uh, I wanted to get before I filmed this was a black bowl hat from Topshop but um, it was £25 and I went in with the intention of buying it and I tried it on and I really liked it and then I was like £25 for a hat I can't do it I couldn't do it so I just put it back and left and then wept about it um, yeah so um, I also I got some money specifically for my tattoo so um, from my parents which is the good side because that means you know they've acknowledged that I'm going to get a tattoo my sister has two so um, I should be allowed at least one right um, and I'm 20 so I could get a tattoo anyway but obviously I respect my parents wishes and stuff um, and I'm gonna be getting it just here well that's what I've decided at the moment that's the place that I've come up with that I'm happy with um, and I'm probably going to be getting it at the end of March, beginning of April-ish, maybe middle of April. I got to do some kind of like, you know, searching around and finding out like base prices with my sister and finalising like the font that I want. Um, if you have no idea what I want tattoo wise that's probably not making much sense but I'll talk about more about it when we get to the time tattoo time so I pretty much think that's everything I'm gonna be filming a what's in my bag video um, probably after this and I'll upload that sometime this week and um, yeah I'll see you in my next video bye guys I also got this duvet cover from my mum and it's the Catherine Lansfield Canterbury um, double duvet and it's just floral and then on the inside, it's um, polka dots.